How's it going, everybody? I'm Jason with Onsite Auto OKC. Uh, I'm going to show you the process uh, in rejuvenating your, your lead acid battery. Uh, this will be the, the style with those vent caps that you can remove. Uh, what you will need is a charger with a 200 amp uh, starting capability. And this needs to be a analog charger, not a digital one, uh, but you need the old style and uh, analog. And I will show you the process uh, and how to make your battery like new again. And also the uh, science behind why your batteries uh, tend to go bad and uh, stop producing electricity. Okay, uh, give you a little idea on the science behind this. Uh, let me take these vent caps off here. Down inside there are your plates. And those plates, uh, over time, get a layer of sulfation. And what this sulfation is, is uh, lead, sulf uh, lead sulfite crystals uh, that form and make a film on those plates. And that film uh, decreases the surface area required for the contact of the acid to the plates to produce the electricity uh, from the battery. Um, so what I'm going to show you is how to get the, the uh, sulfation or the lead oxide crystals off of the plates. Okay, so what we're going to do first, you're going to just take those vent caps off. Okay, you need, man, and you need to be wearing safety glasses and rubber gloves because uh, this process produces hydrogen gas and hydrogen gas is, is explosive. It produces hydrogen gas with oxygen, which uh, could potentially uh, cause an explosion. So you need to do this out in a well-ventilated area. But uh, what you do here is you'll take your, your charger uh, terminal, you'll clamp it on just like this, okay? And you will turn the charger onto 200 amp start, okay? That's at 200 amps there. Now you will notice that it starts to bubble. This is uh, the point where it's producing the hydrogen gas and oxygen. So you need to, uh, uh, like I said, this needs to be in a ventilated area um, to where this, this gas, it can accumulate and explode. But as you notice, as it bubbles, if you look at the, the color of the, uh, the acid in there, uh, you can see the plates but if you give it a minute, it starts to get a, a, a kind of a, a like a, a almost a gray haze in the liquid in the acid. And that's what's doing is uh, that's the uh, that high current from the uh, charger is burning the sulf uh, lead sulfite crystals off of those plates. And you can see how, it, how it's bubbling, bubbling pretty good there. So what we're going to do is we're going to run, we're going to run uh, this battery through uh, three or four cycles of this high current. Okay, and you can see how vigorously it's bubbling, and I don't know if you can notice the the color of the, the color of the uh, acid now is is a is kind of a gray uh, color as before. You could see into 
uh, into it pretty good and you can see the plates. Um, that's that's the, uh, the so lead sulfide crystals getting baked off of those plates. Okay. So we're gonna run this at a cycle of, uh, I would say your first, your first go round with it, I would run it about 10 minutes. Let this run at 10 minutes uh, and let just let it bubble. Uh, and after 10 minutes, you'll come back, you'll shut the machine off and then you're just gonna let it sit for a minute. And you can see the, uh, see that, see how the acid has gone gray. That's all that lead sulfite that's, that's baked off the, off, off of the uh, plates before you could see down in there. And now you can't. Um, so that sulfite, uh, lead sulfate will, will end up going to the bottom of the battery as it settles. And so it's not gonna, it's not gonna harm anything. Uh, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and let that sit. And we'll get back with you here in a few minutes. Okay, I've let it sit for about 10 minutes. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and run through another 10 minute cycle at 200 amps. And you will see now it's, it, it's bubbling even more vigorously than it did before. And each time that you do this, it will bubble even more vigorously than the previous time. Um, so, and that's a good thing. That's, that means that the, uh, sulfite, lead sulfate crystals are, are, are coming off the plates and it, you've got more surface contact area. Um, but the, at this point, this thing's generating a ton of hydrogen, uh, gas and oxygen Mi and mixed together uh, any sort of spark or anything could cause this to explode. So you want to be careful. And whatever you do when this thing's running like this, you do not want to mess with your, your terminals there to create any sort of spark. Uh, that would be very bad. So you just want to let it run. And you can see how the color, uh, the color is changing. It's getting darker than that, the liquid and the acid. It's almost a red, kind of a red color now. And that's, that's the lead sulfite crystals getting baked off. Okay. We're going to run this for about 10 more minutes and then we'll, we'll shut it off and uh, we'll go through another cycle. Okay. You can see the color now of the acid is really getting there. So you can tell that, uh, there's a lot of, particulates floating around in there now uh, it's not clear like it was which is that's fine that's good that's what you want you, that's what you want to see uh, you go ahead we're going to run and run through another uh, 10 minute cycle on 200 amps and you'll notice this time it's bubbling even more furiously than it did before and that is because there's even more surface area now uh, for those plates to interact with the, the acid and you can see the color color of it it is almost like a muddy brown color now and we're going to just let them let her burn let her just sit there and do her thing Okay, we're gonna run about another 10 minute cycle. And we'll come back to it here in a sec. Okay, the coloration uh, of, the, of the acid is really, really getting nasty. Uh, but that's all, that's all the, uh, 
the sulfation coming off of the plates. That's all this. That's all the stuff that was uh, coating the plates, uh, inhibiting the uh, the process of uh, chemical process of, of making uh, electricity from the battery. Uh, that's that is all now suspended in the acid, which will fall to the bottom of the battery as it set, as it just as it sets over time. And we're going to come back. And let's hit it again with another cycle. I'm going to cycle it again, 200 amps. And you'll see this time it's really bubbling. <clears throat> and that's, uh, that's a good indicator that, uh, that the process is, is working and doing what it's supposed to and working well. See her going to town there. And again, don't disturb these terminals or the clamps on the on the battery at all because you don't want to create any sort of spark because uh, that will cause this thing to explode. Uh, if you want to do this outside in a uh, well-ventilated area. But you can see this thing going to town now. All right. Let's let it run for 10 minutes and we'll come back. Okay. We're uh, back after 10 and uh, you can see there is a lot of particulates floating around in that acid at this time. What we're gonna do is one more 10 minute cycle on 200 amps. And this will be the final cycle. As you can see, she's really bubbling now. You can see the color. Uh, color's just getting darker and darker. We're gonna let that run. Go ahead and let it bubble and I'll be right back. Okay, uh, that's the final cycle of, of the uh, 200 amp uh, burn off. And you can see the color of the acid. It is really, really looking muddy inside there. That's a ton of lead sulfate just hanging out there. Uh, but as it sits, it will uh, settle to the bottom of the battery and won't cause you any problems. Uh, so it will clear up over time. Uh, at this point now, you come back uh, and you want to run a trickle charge to this thing you want to run the lowest that you can which is mine sets a 10 amp 12 volt 10 amp and you just want to let it sit there and you want to put the time set the timer for for uh for 90 minutes and let it charge at the lowest setting and when you come back that battery will be good as new You'll be able to reinstall it in the vehicle and keep on using it. There's no point in buying any batteries. Uh, if you don't have to, this will save you some money because batteries aren't cheap. They're expensive. But this kind of give you an idea of the process of, of why you, your batteries go bad. And this gives you can kind of see for yourself the, the uh, science behind it uh, and, and removing that sulfate. Uh, sulfation pro, uh, uh, layer and it's kind of cool so anyways I hope you guys uh, like this video and if you found it helpful please like and subscribe that helps my channel out and helps me create more content for you guys for the future
thanks and have a great day.